Hello friends, if you are looking for a perfect niche uh, to start an affiliated blog or website, then please watch this video till the end and also please subscribe to my channel. So the new micro niche I discovered today is retro. Yes, it is retro. Uh, I myself got surprised uh, to see some of the data points and facts when I was doing some analysis. I was always under an impression that uh, retro either it is very competitive or uh, there is no much of such volume for uh, the products related to nitro. Uh, with that assumption, I did not pay much focus to this uh, any of the products um, in this segment. But in the recent past, I uh, discovered one website which was doing pretty well. Then I started doing some more research and I was really, really surprised. Uh, with the kind of opportunities I discovered uh, to start an affiliate blog uh, in, with respect to retro micro niche. Okay, yes, I always do. Um, let's do that five factor validation for this micro niche as well. So, the very first uh, factor that I analyze is competition and the difficulty to rank for the keywords associated with this particular micro niche. Let's look at. Okay, so um, when you when I first search for this particular uh, keyword, I found the keyword difficulty 55, which is really hard, uh, though there is a decent search volume. Uh, that's where actually I also was little hesitant in, uh, earlier, but then I went ahead and uh, drilled down further and continued my analysis then the results really surprised me. What I typically do is I filter the keywords <clears throat> with a difficulty less than 20. Uh, let me apply this filter. For, uh, for the people uh, who are not very familiar with these technical terms, KD stands for keyword difficulty. Lesser is easier to rank. Okay. Now, this result really, really surprised me. I discovered there are 35 K keywords associated with retro uh, which have the difficulty less than 20. That's amazing. I never expected that till I uh, did this analysis. So uh, there are more than enough opportunities uh, in the in retro related space to explore with respect to affiliate marketing. Okay. So it passed the first validation. First fact. Okay, now let's look at the second validation. What I normally uh, look for is search volume or traffic for, for the keywords associated with this particular micro niche. Let's look at that. If you see, there are so many uh, topics or keywords which have sick, unbelievable uh, traffic. If you see retro fitness, 75K. So, for the people, uh, for the benefit of the people who are not again very familiar with these technical terms, volume is nothing but the number of average searches per month for the specific uh, keyword. Okay, so that means there are about 75k searches for retro fitness in a month on an average. And look at the <clears throat> other thing, Sonic Retro 19k, uh, Retro Freak 12k. So there are so many, so many keywords with amazing volume. Okay. So that means uh, the second uh, validation is also passed. Third one, what I look for is scope for content. What it means is I also look for uh, the more number of topics uh, to write if I go for uh, this particular uh, micro niche. What I normally do is I also filter uh, the volume the volume uh, with minimum 500 per month. Okay, let me apply this filter as well. <clears throat> what it means is I want to find out how many different topics are there with minimum of monthly search volume 500 and also keyword difficulty less than 20. So that means if I write a good piece of content on any of these topics, there is a very high probability for me to rank better. As simple as that. So if so I always um, look for 
a micro niche which is having more number of keywords matching uh, these criteria. One is the keyword difficulty less than 20 and volume is greater than 500. Now if you see here, there are 648 keywords are there satisfying the, the criteria that we just selected. This is excellent. Now typically when you select these things, right, there will be a lot of um, redundant keywords, there will be a lot of few irrelevant as well. However, still I, with my experience, I can guarantee that you will be able to find easily about it 300 uh, plus topics or keywords that would, that are um, genuinely available for you to write a good piece of content. So that means that also satisfied the third validation that is scope for content. Okay. Now fourth one. So I always uh, look for a reference site uh, as a proof that this particular micro uh, niche really works. Uh, so when I look for the reference sites, I always look for the reference sites which are relatively new and also have low domain authority. Because if you are starting a new website now, we cannot uh, take an established site as the reference site and as uh, because we are going to be very new and our domain authority is going to be very low. So while doing analysis, again, I was really surprised by one website. Here it is, retrosetup.com. Okay, now look at basically uh, some of the data points related to this particular website. See here. Look at the domain authority. It is 3.8. Again, for the benefit of the people who doesn't understand these technical terms, domain rating or domain authority is nothing but um, an indication how of how established this particular website in comparison to other websites. So higher the DR, that means that's a more established or uh, well established website. For example, if you take Facebook, you will find DR is equal to 100. So when you start a new website, you will have your DR either zero or probably maybe in a single digit. Okay. Uh, so if we, when I found a, a retro related website, DR 3.8 and also ranking for about a thousand keywords, I was really surprised. Then I felt like, yes, there is a, an excellent opportunity here. Right. Uh, so that means you can very well start a uh, website and uh, very very soon i think you should be able to uh, even achieve the similar kind of a dr now let's look at uh, the traffic also so this particular website is able to attract about a 700 plus um, traffic per month and this is relatively new and very low domain authority don't forget that okay so that means uh, my fourth validation is also passed there is a uh, low domain authority website built on retro macro niche and doing pretty well okay pass now the last factor that i look for is earning potential so uh, even though some sites some micro niches satisfy all these criteria um, they actually should have the uh, the potential to earn some money because we do affiliate marketing <coughs> to earn some money right i do it in uh, two ways one is I look for the CPC of the uh, the keywords associated with particular micro niche. CPC again, um, CPC is nothing but click uh, cost per click. CPC stands for cost per click. Higher would be better. Okay. Now, when I looked at uh, CPC for uh, the terms associated with uh, retro, I found it's mixed. So. Uh, I found a few keywords at about a 50 cents and few at about one dollar so not excellent sorry here if I look at here um, most of them are about a 50 cents 40 cents and I found a couple of them at about one dollar two dollar so it's a mix it is not excellent uh, but it's okay average but what it made me uh, very attractive is if I combine with uh, it with the volume it is significant Right. If I, if I found a, if I, if there is a keyword with about difficulty 5 and 20K, nearly 19K searches per month and $2 is amazing. So in combination of volume and CPC, this looks pretty good. But I want to do a second uh, way of validation also. Typically what I do is how much the reference site is basically earning currently. 
okay what is the earning potential of it that gives me a better idea whether this micro niche is worth trying for the affiliate marketing when i looked at it the traffic it is about 461 dollars right per month so it is not bad at the same time it is not like wow so if you have something um, 1000 2000 5000 10000 that will always be very attractive so it is about 460 dollars it is okay but so couple of other facts that i found discovered related to the website actually were mind blowing so let me tell you what it is when i looked at when the site was launched just see here it was launched in the july 2019 that is that means it hardly it is about six months old site six to seven months old site but still it is able to earn about a 500 dollars typically in affiliate world people will say will advise to stay uh, in uh, focus for about an year before you expect lot of money but this was really really surprising within six to seven months it started uh, earning at about showing the potential of earning about a 500 dollars and another another very 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 important thing that i uh, discovered is when i looked at the number of pages this particular website has it has hardly about a 30 pages now imagine the kind of opportunity we have on hand so a website with a domain authority of about a 3.8 with just a 30 pieces of content able to generate a traffic of worth about a 500 dollars per month just imagine when you can write about a hundred piece of content and give an year time for that it's mind blowing right then i felt okay this is the micro niche if somebody is uh, interested to focus uh, on retro related topic so if you have any interest um, in vintage um, collection or any of the products retro related products then don't even think twice here you have a golden opportunity on hand to start an affiliate uh, website and make a lot of money okay friends hope uh, this is uh, this video is very helpful for you please do like uh, the video and also i request you to subscribe to my channel i keep uh, creating uh, videos i will continue to do uh, my research and i will keep uh, creating new videos uh, explaining new micro niches that i am going to discover thank you